Okay, so we're taking a ride along here with the uh, early preview of Farming Simulator in-game footage. So this is, just move my mouse here, Riverbed Springs. This is the American map. We're riding along with a Massey Ferguson around town here. We got a lot of different stuff moving over there with the AC units and uh, vents and whatnot over there. That's pretty cool. Uh, this appears to be the shop, but uh, take a listen to that sound in-game. Also, Axel's Tractor Company, that's a good name for a shop, I like that. Clever Motors was pretty good too, though, but uh, yeah, Axel's uh, Tractor Shop, that sounds pretty good. So once again, we can kind of see most of the buildings don't look like they're going to be uh, usable for the most part, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, we got uh, the Gasket Gas Station here, which uh, I've heard several people say that's very, very... Uh, European Saudi, which I kind of agree. It doesn't really look like an American gas station, but that works. Got a little bank with an ATM, so we can go to the bank once again there. Uh, the structure over there looks kind of interesting with uh, all the different lights and whatnot, so I'm not sure if this is like uh, building projects over here or what this is. This looks like an old gas station right there. They got a lot of lights all around lighting up stuff so that's kind of interesting so not sure if that's going to be in game or not or they're just using that to uh, be able to look at the stuff while they're working at night uh, looks like they're kind of added in everywhere so i think that that might not be what we see in game later on because that kind of just looks like a bunch of uh, added mod lights at the moment uh water over there looks decent definitely seems like this is a little bit lower on the graphics uh looks like the cows moving over there which is pretty cool very nicely warm, uh, oh yeah the horses are moving cool yeah so nicely laid out animal dealer here nice and spread out you got each different pins with different animals so that's pretty cool and as pointed out the animals are moving so that's it we got uh, manure uh, right up there it looks like but that's pretty neat the animals moving around at the animal dealer so that's cool that's pretty neat. Got some nice rock textures. The trees definitely look uh, a lot better. Can't comment on how well the uh, graphics are loading in though. You see a little bit of shaky in the uh, the background there, but that might be if how they recorded this and whatnot. So not totally sure, but it looks pretty good. The sounds of the tractor sound really, really good. You got the same tire tracks being left down on the uh, asphalt there, so that's pretty cool. Alrighty guys, so this we get the HUD, and so it's going to be uh, basically the same HUD that we've seen before. A few different symbols up there, we got the same weather type stuff. Let me try and make sure that we're at our best, uh, looks like we're going to be at our best that we can be for the moment, but uh, we got our map there, we got our information, active products, building storage, so that's all running, water, and rice saplings. So this is part of the uh, growing your own rice saplings so I wonder if this is going to cross over to like the tree saplings and all that you have like a little greenhouse to grow those as well but uh, there's a little a little pallet of saplings for the rice and uh, we got a fent tractor right back over there or actually is that a yeah it's a fent I got confused there by the uh, quickie I was thinking it was a dutz fire for a moment there but detail on the tractor looks Decent. Uh, with this, now that I'm thinking about it, the scaling looks a little bit different. Looks, I'm not sure what, uh, how close zoomed in this is. This might be pretty zoomed in. No, no, nope, that's full screen. Okay. I don't know. The scaling on the tractor and uh, your POV looks a little bit different. It might be zoomed in for their field of vision a little bit different. Because I think I'm running field of view at like 60. But that looked a little bit different walking up to the tractor there than uh, what I usually see in 22, so that's kind of interesting. So we got the nice in sound, in indoor sounds there. We got our uh, GPS, you got uh, the new gadgets there on the sides. We can see how many hours, kilometers per hour. We got our new rice planter, but uh, yeah, that's the little HUD over there for everything cute a little piece of machinery there pretty cool look at that thing looks nice I like it 
Yeah, I don't know. The POV seems like it might be a little bit different. Seems like we might be a little bit closer to the ground. I'm not sure. I'll have to uh, take a peek at uh, 22 a little bit later and see what I think. But I don't know. It kind of, kind of honestly looks like uh, a little bit closer. And then we got our little thing right there to be able to fill the field. So this is kind of cool. Make the field uh, muddy and whatnot. Nice water animation there. And what's, uh, what you can't, oh yeah, so they sped up time there, so you see it's, it fills up the water with the uh, speeding up of time, so it's not instant water. I was wondering about that, because I hadn't, I'd, well, seen this video, but I hadn't really paid attention. But yeah, they speed up the, uh, the time for it to fill up, so it do, it's not immediate, so that's nice. That's a nice thing. So, does that change by how big the field is? Uh, how long it takes to fill up? Uh, could be, could not be. Uh, one thing that I can think of that will be a lot of fun is making a little uh, a little pathway type thing. And uh, making a nice little mudding path and filling it up with some water. With uh, trucks and stuff. That's, that's where my mind goes. Probably wrong because it's supposed to be farming sim. But, uh, you know what? Trucking and mudding... Sounds like fun to me, so... Anyways. Anyways, that's where my mind goes. Uh, so we get to look at a few farm buildings there in the background. Looks like that like that little shed right there you can go into and out of. Uh, the character doesn't look much different. Maybe a few more facial, facial features than uh, what we have currently. But basically looks about the same as uh, what we currently have. So watching the uh, water actually ripple, that's really, really cool. And then we're going to get the planting animation here, and there we go. Man, that looks good, and you see just that, that water ripple, that is really, really cool. And you see right there, the machine also causes a little bit of a different uh, water ripple as well. That is neat. Like that. Like that. Oh. Over some bumps and stuff, and uh, we're getting closer to these uh, farm buildings over here. One thing that I'm not liking so far is all of the fog and haze. So I'm not sure. I don't think they said that there's a way. I don't. Think, uh, yeah, I think they said that there's not a way for us to uh, turn that off necessarily. So that's to some degree kind of disappointing because it just it looks very hazy. So I guess it depends on what the uh, atmosphere is doing and all that temperature and whatnot but uh, right now it's just very very hazy and I do like a bit of a clear day especially for like um, thumbnails and stuff so anyways just my one gripe seems like it's constantly stuck in a in a foggy haze so I'm not overly a fan of that but uh, as I said we'll have to wait and see how that all goes nice looks good though Needs lime though, so interesting to see how that all works with different vehicles and whatnot. That's cool looking. Nice. Alrighty, so here we go, just a regular John Deere tractor driving through the uh, wet field and uh, making waves and whatnot. You can see the, the bounciness, you can see some mud particles or dirt particles from the field down below. That is pretty fascinating there. So basically you can make your own uh, kind of lake and stuff if you want to. So that's going to be interesting. Will the fields now fill with uh, water when it rains? That's something I didn't think about until just now. That's a possibility. You see the tires are wet and kind of muddy slightly. That's cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, so here we go. We can see uh, this is how GPS works for your worker. Kind of see how it's kind of filling in by itself. What I can't tell is uh, if we're doing it ourselves. That's why I haven't. What I'm not clear on is whether we're designing the GPS or if uh, the game itself figures out the GPS for the field each time. That looks good. Nice. And here we're going to get a, a bit of a more view of the waterways and the boats on the American map. Got a little jet ski, I think, right there. We've got the lifted up houses, very important for along the riverside, just in case it floods. Some nice detail there. Uh, we've got a boat, and 
Let me go back here. The boat is bobbing in and out of the water. I was wondering about that. You can't really tell there too much, but it is bobbing in and out, so that's pretty neat. So how will boats be able to work in this game? That's what's going to be interesting. I uh, see about the same water texture as we see uh, with the field, just a little bit clearer, so it's not murky field water. We got a uh, nice little drive path here. Then we're walking along the riverside. A little bit of a bumpy walk, it looks like. Uh, can't tell what all we got around here. A nice little dirt path. Uh, we come onto the road, and this should be the ferry. Yep, there we go. Ferry right there. So I'm not sure how this is going to work. If you're going to have like a trigger to take you across, or if like you just drive on, it automatically starts taking you across or not. And that definitely ain't moving. Not sure. Or maybe it's just uh, static as well. As I said, not totally sure on that. And you see the nice little ripple as our character is walking on top of the water, so that's really cool. And we're walking through here, you got some nice bush textures, some nice flower textures, got some nice running water textures. No running water sounds. That's a problem. We got running water, but there's no running water sounds right there. Okay, that's gonna need to be fixed. Uh, what else do we have? Got a nice bridge up here. Not sure if that's a walking bridge or a drive over bridge. That is a drive over bridge. Very good. And then we got a uh, looks like some sort of green or silo facility to the side over here. Yep, there we go. And a nice little boat port. Be able to unload as well. So, probably working like the trains, we can unload and they'll ship it off and set it that way. Got some really nice rock textures right here. That looks good. Uh, that looks pretty neat. I'm liking what I'm seeing here, guys. I'm liking it a lot. Got, uh, not totally sure how all that works. As I said, we're not seeing any triggers for like first time learning. Get some sun rays right here, along with some docks and another boat right there, so that's cool. Obviously pre-game, so it's not finished yet, so they're still working on it, but just a good kind of feel for what we got going on. And also, guys, there's going to be construction contracts. Uh, this was not one of my favorite things in 22 that they tried with Silver Run Forest. Uh, it wasn't a bad idea, just it was a little... It's odd to me, to some degree. I do kind of get it though, but uh, if all the buildings work like that, I'd kind of like it. So like, if all the buildings you place down and it took a few days for them to like build all the resources, not, not necessarily that you had to be, bring the resources, but you built a building, you placed it down, and then after a few days, um, it actually built. So like, maybe you get speed up time, get a time lapse of it getting built, that would be neat. Uh, but yeah, I'm not really a big fan of just static buildings that more than likely you can't delete um, from your game save that are just stuck in the game and uh, they may or may not be able to be built and stuff by you depending on how it works. I don't know if it's like you buy it or if it's like a contract that you're helping get supplies to build it. As I'm not totally sure uh, which direction they're going or if it's a building that you can personally use uh, once you buy the property. And uh, you have to fix it up first. I'm not totally sure which direction that is. Uh, but wasn't only a fan with it at 22. We have to see how this works in 25. Got a football there in the uh, thing. So that's kind of cool. But uh, yeah, just was not my favorite uh, thing there. That's for sure. But uh, we'll see how that works. It's an interesting idea. But it uh, wasn't one of my uh, favorites. And you can also see that we're in fall right now too. So that's neat. So we still have seasons. So that's still working in the game so that is good to know so going up and get a view of some more buildings out and about there we got a few more triggers so we can see that triggers are back uh, in game so that's nice to know uh, they put a lot of detail in this building I can tell you that right now though lots of detail into the building so I'm not gonna fault them for that they did a good job on that one So there we go. Let's back up just a little bit here. Because we got a nice view of the building as walking away from it that looked really, really good. See how this looks walking away. Because that, that looked really, really good. There we go. I mean, that 
I mean, the graphics look great right there. That is just awesome looking. Then we got uh, this building right here, which is interesting. So rock-based wood on top. Interesting. We also got a little mountain there off to the side on the right that we could see. Uh, it looks interesting. Not sure what this building is. But it's definitely interesting. So can we like, go into this building? Is this building operational? Can we go in? Okay, that was interesting, so I'm not sure what was going on with that. Uh, we got another brick building here. We got some boxes of supplies or something there. Uh, looks like some sort of mill, I believe. Some sort of factory mill slash thing. Uh, texture on it, once again, looks awesome. Got a nice little waterway going through. Ooh, we got a water wheel. Nice, that looks good. Uh, there is not much sound. We got some smoke coming out of the chimney. Yeah, there's not much sound uh, around these waterways, which uh, definitely needs to be added in. So hopefully they'll get that done. Uh, trees look really, really good around here as well. Liking that. And then we got a field right over there, it looks like. The building looks good. It's just, I'm not sure... What are we doing? Are we, like, making furniture for the inside? What are, what are we doing with that building that we're constructing it? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Then we got... Uh, the waterway right here looks like the river might be right over there potentially, or there might just be a pond. And we got way too much fog going on still. Not sure what time in the morning uh, we're walking around this at, so that could be a little bit different, but way too much fog going on there. It looks good, just uh, I don't want to constantly be a, every single day I'm in fog. Just, that's not something I want to do. Uh, waterway right there. Doesn't look like it's moving pretty stagnant through there, it looks like. Uh, we got the bull rushes, so that's that's pretty cool. I mean, it's a nice building, just I'm not sure what are we doing with it. We need a croc coming up through there, or alligator. Saltwater crocodiles, they are a thing, and you can't find them. So, I think this is supposed to be more Mississippi, Louisiana, so uh, probably not going to see any crocs, but uh, always an option. But, I mean, it's a good looking building. It's just, I don't know what we're doing with it. Obviously, it's there for a reason. I just don't know uh, what we're doing with it. But we got power lines. Nice looking trees. The trees look really, really good. I do have to admit that the tree redo looks excellent. We got the nice road right there. And uh, if, uh, if I have heard correctly, the ground deformation, driving over this type stuff here, the gravel, should make tire tracks. Depending on the weight of the vehicle, if I heard that correctly. So, that sounds cool. But um, anyways, guys, that's going to be it for us today. Thank you so much for watching the Combustion Gamer YouTube channel. And we'll see you guys here next time. And uh, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.